the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see the new number seven in Washington, Dwayne Haskins and the Redskins, as they take on Dak Prescott and the defending NFC East champs, the Dallas Cowboys. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in playing pretty well, 6-3 and three in their last nine games. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for the visiting Redskins, they've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity, and I know they want and expect this streak to get to nine. season week 17 is underway this fielded at the two and he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 the Cowboys take the field and the man leading them Dak Prescott who's been remarkably consistent through his first three NFL seasons 23 22 and 22 touchdown passes as he put together a 32 and 16 regular season record in those three years at the helm here on first down and he hits Jason Witten the tight end 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down boy you gotta think that having the 37 year old veteran Jason Witten back at tight end is gonna be great for Dak Prescott for plays just like that and you think to last year when Witten wasn't there it was kind of a rotating carousel they had Blake Jarwin Jeff Swain Rico Gathers Dalton Schultz but Witten back out there and doing his thing again one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. And the offensive starters for Dallas. And we take a long look at Ezekiel Elliott, who led the league in rushing the two out of the last three years. Certainly built to handle a huge workload. He led the league in total touches a season ago. From just shy of midfield, Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, to I want didn't it. Offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. To throw again on second down, Prescott, and this is caught by Witten, the tight end. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. 
that's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They get that little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. That'll be taken in the end zone, and no run back. The Redskins taking the field, led once again by a number seven. Of course, Joe Theismann's old number hadn't been used in 33 years, but Joe gave the okay to wear it to this man. Their first round pick, Dwayne Haskins. They'll run with Thompson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Here's the offense, and when you talk about this offense, you certainly have to talk about all-day AP, Adrian Peterson. Does not shy away from contact. Also has the speed to go the distance. It's the rare combination that you get from one of the great runners of all time in the NFL. 2,000 yards every year is the goal. I never bet against him. They go play action now. Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me. And it leads to a play action stack. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches, there's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny. Win and you're in. And I think every player wants that. I think every coach wants that. I haven't been in an organization yet that wants to be in a game where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals. In this situation, it's very cut and dry. Win and you're in the playoffs. That's their mission. That's their challenge. And you know they've chosen to accept it. And what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year. You wouldn't expect any different. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning of the season, you have multiple goals. They just have one now win the game. Here's a look at the starters defensively for Washington. In that win last week over the Giants, they were very good. They held them to just seven points, and in reviewing the game tape, I'm wondering how they got the seven. I actually, actually wrote a note to myself. How did they even score? <laughs> the way they were playing, absolutely dominating on their side of the ball. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. <laughs> Prescott from the gun on third. He's got a first down of inside at midfield. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Prescott going to come up first and 10. And he's 8 for 8 now, throwing the ball to start the game. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott completes it to Jason Witten. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Prescott from the gun. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 28. Let's go. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. As and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, 
Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Thirteen games going on here in this final Sunday of 2019, the final Sunday of the regular season. Three more games still to come following us. Raiders, Broncos, Cards, Rams, and Niners, Seahawks. Antonio Brown, kiss him goodbye. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Brown, his 19th touchdown now of the season as they are now on the board here in the first half. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass defense on their toes and what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense they think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa i would continue that and when they finally draw a beat on you maybe you mix it up a little bit a little play action and throw the ball and will they maintain that balance time to find out on second down elliot and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Great play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. With it is Brown. Illegal block in the back. Return team. So that one will be accepted. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Switch it, switch it, switch it, deal, switch it. They run Peterson. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Open man is Quinn. He completes it. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now it's Haskins. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it third down. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Connects here with a tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Redskins have the first down on a pickup of 18. Here we go, get off the field. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Haskins to throw on second down. He's going deep for Brown. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Haskins. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Throwing now. Haskins on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Second and 10. Here's Haskins again. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Haskins will throw. This is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Jeremy Sprinkle. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Redskins have taken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and the result, a touchdown for Washington. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. The Redskins going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they will get to him behind the line, but the clock continues to tick down. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now let's discuss Antonio Brown as he heads back out there now. Ready, ready. 
And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Haskins. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The Redskins have the first down on a pickup of 18. Now Haskins on first down. Flushed out right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Michael Burton, the fullback, the intended target. And now it's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now a give to Peterson running right. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. To throw on third down. Haskins looking deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. Here we go. Big yardage that time for the Redskins. 46 yards. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. Eluding the in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jonathan Allen make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is fielded at the seven. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now, Peterson. Try to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Jeff Heath, the one to bring him down. Looking to throw on second down. Haskins, this to McLaurin out on the left side. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now he steps away. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 
Now Haskins, third and long. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Here we go on fourth down. Haskins escaping the pressure right. Slings this deep from McClellan. Yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So they decline the penalty. Uh, that seems a little odd. I'm trying to work through it and work with them to figure out why. Well, someone's got to be confused. I, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the bench is saying take the penalty, and somehow in the heat of the moment, they thought they were saying decline the penalty, and that's going to work against them. They should have taken it. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Now, using Zeke Elliott in the passing game, that's something Cowboy fans are getting used to. Last year, 77 receptions, and you think back to his rookie season, he had 32 and then 26 his second year, but he's really on the uptick. Last year, Dak Prescott had three fourth-quarter comebacks, and he's in search of another one right now. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Prescott. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Von Miller, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Now Prescott, his throw incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. But now it's third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Prescott. And Gresham, the tight end, brings it in. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Tavecchio puts this one through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try again with Elliott. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Here's Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Fourth and goal, and they found a way to throw it in the end zone for a touchdown. And these defenses, they just like three downs, get off the field. But here they had to go four, couldn't get it done. A lot of the time, you're looking up and saying, okay, if I hold them for three, at worst, I give up a field goal attempt. When they go for it, sometimes it really affects the defense because maybe they're not mentally prepared to go that fourth down. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And last time this unit was out here, 
costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It's Christian Covington who notches the sack there. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Need something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Throwing now is Haskins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, Antonio Brown can wreak havoc in so many ways. Here he's able to cause a P.I. penalty. He runs the defensive backs with such speed and power. I think it creates panic on their end. And lots of they just reach out and grab him. And that's the result. That he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. The incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Haskins to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They're going on fourth down. Haskins. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Dallas, the win means they'll finish in double...